What's up guys, we are back again for another paranormal documentary. But first, we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And as you can see behind me, we are at the Rocky Mountain Alpine Coaster. This is a roller coaster that goes all the way up this freaking mountain, and we're about to ride it. Not only do I have a phobia of ghosts, but I have a phobia of roller coasters. But I deserve it because it's my turn to pick a challenge for Noah and Paranormal Quest. This time, we'll be going to the old, historic Harriman Hospital. This massive hospital is over two city blocks long and we will be in there all night. And with my challenge, I'm going to be bringing back the hospital gowns that Noah made me wear at the Indiana State Sanatorium. And I'm gonna to be torturing him with the hospital gowns. This is to get revenge on Noah for what he did to me at the Indiana State Sanatorium in the quad and for what he did to me at the old hospital on College Hill. Keep it there, do not move. Look at what you have. What is that? Is that is a it? nurse's gown? It's a hospital gown! Yo, no, dude! You guys are the patients tonight. And for their challenge, I will be hiding a walkie-talkie somewhere in the hospital and making them find it in the complete darkness. They will have no communication because they won't have the walkie on them until they find it. But once they finally find the walkie, I will then walkie to them where they're actually going to be going to for their challenge. But first, I'm going to be going up on the mountain coaster. Guys, I'm scared, dude. I absolutely hate roller coasters, dog. Oh God, we're picking up speed. We are picking up speed. This is not good. Oh God, look at that incline. Okay, this is really moving now, guys. Guys, they are screwed in their challenge, man. Oh God. But honestly, I guess this is a challenge for me too. This has to be scarier than Jake's challenge. I have no faith in Jake. There's no way he's gonna make his challenge scarier than going up a mountain and going down at full freaking speed. There he is, there he is, that's Noah. Noah! Stop! Stop! I'm literally shaking like a leaf, dude. Oh, oh, oh my god damn. We're going up a mountain. Oh, it's better be good. Oh, it's gonna be fast. Me. Oh, oh God. Ah! Dude. Go, Noah. Dude, Noah's freaking out. Ah! Push forward, handle forward now. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, my God. Ah! Jake, I hate you. Dude, what that you think, was dude? awful. What do you mean? I, I, still, I still don't believe your challenge is going to be scarier than this. Dude, I was telling them on that coaster, it is way scarier than that. You're screwed, nope. bro. I don't just, believe just it. Just wait until we go tomorrow, man. All right. PQ, they're like pretty chill, right? Yeah. They're going to be scary. I guarantee it. That's going to be a tough one to do, man. Dude, that was freaking awesome, bro. Let's go, dude. Harriman. Let's go. Harriman. Bro, first investigation in Tennessee, man. New state acquired. And we're doing it with Paranormal Quest. We're gonna meet Ryan and Jason from Paranormal Quest at the old historic Harriman Hospital. Shit. It's gonna be intense, man. We say that every time, but this is one of the biggest locations we've ever been to. So we have the four-story main building. That's the newer hospital. Yeah. And then you have the old section, which is two stories and like a city block and a half long. Yep. My challenge have not always been up to par with yours. Yours have been on a whole new level, but tonight that is going to change. All I'll tell you about your challenge is we are gonna be going old school. I'm pulling some old ideas, some new ideas, and I'm mashing them together into one of the worst challenges we've ever done, and you'll see why. Okay. You are all gonna hate it. <laughs> Dude. Dude, that is the biggest building maybe we've ever done, and that's not even all of it. Save my soul, guys, because I'm not ready for this one. You're screwed, bro. This challenge is going to kill you. 
It's gonna kill me? I feel really bad for what I'm about to do to you and to Ryan and Jason. Little did they know, they are gonna be doing a Spirit Stalkers challenge. So let's hop out and we'll kind of wait for them to show up and we'll meet them. Okay. Bro, dude, for real. Dude, it looks like a regular freaking hospital like you'd expect. First apparition of the night, dude, looks inside. Dude, if I see that, I'm gonna piss my pants. You will. Let's do it, you ready? Yep. That might be them right there. Guys! Hey, what's up? What is going on, dude? How's it going, boys? Great. This golden guy. Oh, I know. It is huge, isn't it? It's crazy. I'm nice Jake. To Ryan, nice, nice to meet you. I'm Noah. Noah, Jake. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Noah. Noah, Jason, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you guys ready for this tonight? Yes. Yes, dude, we I'm are. I'm so excited, man. This is going to be crazy. This is the lobby of the new park. It's four floors. This was open 1990-1991. What was in the old part, they moved over here. They moved the emergency room, ICU, heart ward over here. Isn't it weird how we just got started and as soon as we did, an ambulance went by? <laughs> yeah, yeah man. It was behind her, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's gonna exactly be a good crazy. This was off limits for the people because this was for the nurses and doctors and mm -hmm. Texas staff. Behind you in this corner room is a lockdown. It's drugs, alcohol, a prisoner, anybody that was rowdy got put in this room. This has a locked door. This is where the police officers stayed outside of the door. This is padded, the bed. Then they have hooks to chain the patient to. This building out here is if somebody passed, ambulance couldn't get here in time, push the person out here and leave them just long enough for the ambulance to come get them, and they take off with them. And otherwise, these two were just temporary morgues because we didn't have a morgue here. So anyone who was injured or critically hurt would have passed right through here? Yes. Okay. Yep. We were sitting in there. If you sit in the lobby, you can look straight through here and see shadow people a lot of times. So we seen one standing in the hallway. We thought, well, okay, let's go see what's going on. So we come up here, we got to there, and he zipped right over here and was standing here like this. So we come a little closer and he's standing here like this looking at us. So we kept on coming toward him. We come around the corner and somebody was trying to break in. So we think he was a protector. He was protecting his building. These are surgery rooms. These are massive inside, they're big. We have three surgery rooms here. We have seen shadows move across the door. We saw a shadow behind you at the nurse's station. If you see one tonight, that's gonna be wonderful. But, and this is the recovery, outpatient recovery. So when you had any kind of minor surgeries, you came in here and had it done here. Outpatient surgery, the recovery room is right here. We have gotten voices in here, we've heard with our ears. An apparition was more so outside the doorway, but there was a nurse out here. So pay attention when you're here for stuff like that. This stays pretty busy. And me and one of the other volunteers were in here painting, and we heard the most god awful scream. It was sickening. I mean, it probably lasted 10 or 15 seconds. We, it was close, but we couldn't tell where it was from. How you feeling, buddy? I can, uh, I know you, man. I'm you're a not little bit good. nervous, just a tad bit, but this can't be too bad. Come on, are you this sure? This can't be too bad. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna go up the steps and go to the third floor. This side was uh, the heart ward critical. They had nurses station right here. You were all hooked up to meters. They were all lined up and they watched you from here. Down here, this is step down. They've seen apparitions on this side, coming up this staircase. So this has been pretty busy the last couple of weeks up here on the third floor. It's actually getting busier and busier. Yep. Right now. And as you go through the doorway, you're leaving one ward to another ward, which you go from one heart ward to the step down. There are shadows up here. There's a lot of footstep and there's a lot of metal hitting metal. We're not sure what it is, but you can hear it on the first floor. We're going up to the fourth floor. This is ICU critical. Each yeah. room had a patient in it, and they can see the sure. patient. An apparition has been seen here. Chris and I were here one night. A shadow took up that whole door. You'll hear footsteps up here. Uh, the blood pressure cuff was thrown off the wall onto the floor. It is. I, mean, I don't know if you guys, as soon as we yes. crossed the threshold, yes. Jacob said something. I looked at Noah, and he was like, that's why I was like, I mean, you could just feel it. And it's not just because we came up no, the flight of stairs no. either. No, it's no, different. You guys are the only ones that have said that we've had guests say the same thing. Jason has a very long history with ICUs and CCUs, don't you, Jason? Yes. <laughs> you really? Yes. Well, he, uh, he, he has never worked in a hospital, okay. but when we were at, a, at the St. Joseph Hospital, oh, okay. going into the ICU and CCU there really freaked him out. Yeah. 
Now, this is totally different. This is a whole time change from what the new looks like versus what the old looks like. This part here down to the left was built probably 1953. These are two surgery rooms. But from that end all the way down to the other end, this is a solid block you're going to be walking. They delivered babies here. Whoa. <laughs> hey there. Creepy Raggedy Ann doll. Where Chris is standing, there was a picture of a little child. You could see knickers. That's all you can see is the legs down. Standing right there in the doorway is a little girl with a hospital gown on. So we know there are children. That's why we have a little toy room right here for the kids. Gotcha. We've had people here, kids running up and down this hallway. Here, we're in prenatal. This is where you had your babies. This is nurse's station. This whole thing was glass. All the babies were displayed in here. Another person you're going to hopefully catch tonight. It's like they're wearing boots and they're running through the hospital and you can hear them. Some of our uh, guests has come here. They've come through here and heard knocking. The other night, Devin and I made our rounds through the hospital after our public event ended. We come through here. Cabinets are closed on both sides. We came back and the majority of the cabinets were open when we came back through here. We got separated and we're not. Yeah, we got here. separated. Somebody shut a door between us. The door locked it. <laughs> we couldn't, I couldn't get out. I had to go through the rest of the hospital to get back to the lobby. And then when you go through that double door, that door was locked. To get in, you had to be a nurse. You had to have a keypad number. Here is the staircase. You hear a lot going on. You hear metal clicking. This is the, the mental ward. At one time, it was drug and alcohol. Uh, there's a lot of voices in that first room where the bed is. Shadows darting out of rooms. This was, when it first opened, this was the registration. You came in here and registered. This room on the side was ICU. There were six patients. My grandma was here. She passed away here in ICU. When this place changed, this turned out to be the heart ward. Joanna was a nurse that worked here. She was on this floor. This was her station. She, uh, when she passed, they still see her. Even her coworkers would see her wandering through the hospital. So she stays and she does her job. Several volunteers, several guests has come, have seen her. I haven't seen her yet. They said with Joanna, she got upset with you. She'd throw a clipboard down. The movie crew people were here. They at her desk they did some things i come in to make my rounds the movie crew people are supposed to be here shortly it's five in the morning i heard a clipboard fall i'm on the second floor i came back down and right over here by the door was a, one of her folders and then we've got one more part of this that we opened up it's not been opened a long time this is what we deem our shadow hallway. So it's about 4.30 in the morning. We're doing our rounds for the night. So when we come down, usually Devin will go one way checking the doors. I'll go the other way checking the doors and the windows. So we both come here and turn the corner at the same time. Standing in the middle of the hallway is this big tall man, big shadow man, just standing there. And the only way I can describe him is like a genie in a bottle. He actually sucks and goes back into a room. You can actually oh, even see the trail of him being sucked back into the room. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. It was nuts. Supposedly patients kept dying. They turned it into like some kind of offices instead of using as patient rooms because it supposedly had patients that kept dying. Kind of like bad luck. They felt like they couldn't use it anymore because they felt like yeah. more patients died in there than anywhere else. This is a place that a lot of people will not come down here. They'll come so far and they'll turn around and go back. They won't even use the staircase. So, so far I've not been scared. Nothing here has scared me and I'm just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's anything spooky you're going to do to somebody tonight, there's a lot of places to do it too. Oh yeah, my gears are turning. I'm telling you. You guys have something coming for you. <laughs> That's all. Hey, we're ready. <laughs> all we're right. excited. That's all what right. we live for. Yeah. All right, guys. So, um, here with Paranormal Quest. What is up? <laughs> How you guys feeling? We are feeling really good about this, but we heard you have challenges for us. Yeah, so Noah's been really screwing me over with the challenges, and tonight's my night to get him back. But the goal is just to scare the hell out of Noah. That's really the only goal. <laughs> yeah. This challenge has a few things to it. We're doing this in the new building. You guys have your abandonment set up in the old. Yes. So in the new building, I have hid three walkie-talkies. Oh. And they are all on. What you're gonna do is you guys will take this night vision camera, you will have zero lights, and you will have to go find your walkie. Now, when you find your walkie, I will tell you where to go, and you will go do whatever I told you for 10 minutes. Wow, right. okay. 
And so I, I might send you somewhere. I might go say like sit in the ER room. I might say wander down to the. It could be anything. It just depends on who you are and where you find it. The third thing is, and this is the throwback, Noah, because you tortured me at ISS. Yeah, I did. You tortured me. I did. With hospital gowns. Oh. And so I have brought back the hospital gowns. <laughs> and uh, you all will be wearing these oh. as you do your challenge. Very nice. We get to keep our clothes on. Of, on yes, you do. Yeah. Yes. I'd hope so. I'd hope so. Unlike the actual patients, you get to keep your clothes on. <laughs> no, no butt cheeks on YouTube. <laughs> no, 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 no butt cheeks. That. But there's another thing. You will be wearing the enhanced audio Ooh. the entire time you're doing your challenge. Okay. If there's any sound in this building, you're going to hear it. Yeah. So let's get the hospital gowns on and then we can start. Let's do it. Let's do it. I have to challenge myself, so I will also be doing this challenge. But what I'll do is I'll go very, very last, and I'll have you guys like run a walkie up wherever you want to put oh, it. Oh yeah, we get the trio this walkie. There you go. So, oh yeah. So yeah. All right, there you go. All Jason's right. Jason's going. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I awesome. like these new ears too. Good luck, sir. Good luck. All right. See y'all here in a little while. Yeah. So start searching room by room. I've got a walkie-talkie to find. Okay. All right, it's only been like two minutes since he's gone. But I'm just gonna give a little kind of hint with the walkie. I'm over here. You just heard the walkie. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out where it is located. Hello, if there's anyone in here, my name's Jason. I'm here tonight for a little bit of treatment, but right now I'm looking for a walkie-talkie the nurse has sent me up here looking for. Can you help me uh, find it? Point me in the right direction? Doesn't look like a walkie there. It is literally a needle in a haystack. I'm looking for the radio. <laughs> okay. Okay. I believe I have just found a walkie-talkie in the autoclave, in the sterilizer. Hello? Imagine that's like not him. Hey, did you find it? Did you find the walkie? I sure did. Awesome, where are you at? Where are you at? I am in outpatient surgery room. Okay, so you found the second floor one, so what I'm gonna have you do is just sit in one of those chairs in the hallway for 10 minutes and just see if you can get any shadow figures. 10-4. I mean, that was pretty simple enough, right? Sit here in my wheelchair. Hello, could someone please help me? I need to speak to a nurse. Hello? It's time for my treatment. Hello, nurse? I haven't been assigned a room yet. Is anyone around here that can get a nurse for me? Hello? Metal tapping. What is that? There's metal tapping. Like clicking. I have no idea what that noise is. I just started hearing it. Hey man, you're good. You've done your challenge. Come on down. I have no idea what that is. There's a dude, there's a patient down there. I thought I had more uh, distance to travel than that. No, you did it, man. You found the closest one. You found it real quick. Congrats. Got it. I guess turn? that means it's my turn then, huh? Turn, Looks turn. like you guys are taking a trip with me. There's the stairs. You know, normally I'm on a paranormal quest, but I guess for right now I'm a spirit stalker. <laughs> Let's do it. This is the second floor. This is where Jason was. Up we go. I'm guessing that I'm gonna do the third floor because I think everyone would be disappointed if Noah didn't have to go all the way to the fourth. If there's anyone up here with me, I'm searching for a small hand radio. If you could close a door or knock on something, point me in the direction of it. Well, he didn't put it in the toilet. I guess that's a blessing. It is so hard to find your way around here. It's... I'm 
gonna give Ryan a little hint, see if he can find out where this is, because it's been a, it's been a few minutes since he's gone. I am over here. I just heard him come across, and it sounded like it came from this direction. I just heard shuffling in the hallway. Oh, damn, I tripped over that chair. Okay, so I haven't found it yet. But that could just be I am awful at this game of searching. Okay, we're at the nurse's station now. It is dark over here. Hi, I'm over here. Ah, I knew it was here somewhere. Is it in the wheelchair? Is it over here? Aha. I found it. You won't believe what I just found. Did you just find a Rocky? So you found it on the wheelchair. Let's go. Um, one sec, I'll tell you what you're doing. It is really dark in this area up here. If there's anyone here with me, they're gonna tell me what to do. You can follow me. So you're in the cardiac ward on the third floor there. Uh, go find a random room. Uh, it's your choice, and just do a little spirit box session, see if you can get any activity. 10-4, that's what I'll do. Okay, let's go find a room and sit down and do a spirit box session. I want to try and pick out this, the creepiest room, or the room that I feel has the strongest presence. I felt really creeped out by this room right here, so we're gonna go in here. So I have the Paracom S from Moonface Paranormal. I use this all the time on Paranormal Quest, and we've had some insane responses with it. Let's try it here. Is there someone in this room with me? Can you come through this box in my hand, get close to it and speak, and I might be able to hear your voice? If anyone wants to come in here and join me, I'd love to have a conversation with you. It sounds like someone said here. It's hard to it's hard hard to understand voices with the sound amplification on, but. So far, I, don't, I haven't heard anything come through. Come on down. I guess that means it's time for me to go back down. 10-4, I am going to descend the stairs. Dude, how was it? It was interesting. Uh, the really? hardest part was finding the damn radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that means that it's your go. Ooh. Take your camera. And we're gonna throw you right into it. Good luck, soldier. Thank you. All right. All right, we're going up to the fourth floor. All right. We could be anywhere, really. Okay, it's not in here. Let's go in the nurse's station. I'll go behind the nurse's station. All right, so I'm gonna give Noah a little hint. Hopefully, you can help him out a little bit. Noah, 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 I. I heard that. I feel like it's. I heard it's this way. Somewhere in this direction. In the sink? No. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Uh, nothing. Damn it. We're gonna go down this way. Oh god. There's a freaking mannequin right there. That is not pleasant. Okay. I'm here to find a walkie talkie. Have you seen it? I don't think you have. Cool. Oh man, this is not fun at all. Good job to Jake for real. This is a good challenge. He's taking a long time, man. Noah, have you found the walkie dog? I'm giving you a lot of hints, man. <laughs> Dude, this is the walkie speaking. Brother, brother, brother. Alright, I'm gonna play some music into it and see what happens. Alright, let's find a good song we can play into this. Some Doubt Colby. Say La Vie. What the f What the hell was that? That should help him. Hello? Dude. Oh, I found it. I found the freaking walkie. Shout out Doubt Colby, dude. What's up? Oh, you found it, dude. Let's go. 
All right, 10 minutes. You ready for your little 10 minute challenge? I've been ready. I'm always ready. Go sit in the bed that Tanner slept in, that little mock room. Done for him, I'm away. All right, go ahead, 10 minutes going. Here we go, we are laying in the bed. Um, I believe that Doubt Colby has gave me power through this investigation, and I think you guys should stream his new album, Panorama Land. Redacted. What, is that? what the hell was that, man? So I'm like sitting in the hospital bed, right? And I closed the door to see what would happen. But it sounds like if you put like your palm on like a surface and like move your fingers and like tap them in a wave, like a da 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 da. Like, like they're like, 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 like they're wanting to like hit in here or something. Or, like they're trying to knock on the door. <laughs> That's happening on the door? Yes, and it's not like once, twice. It's happening every 15 seconds. Dude, that's like the weirdest sound too. That it's like he's getting like. Okay. All right. Well, let's go down. Oh yeah, baby. Why'd you put it on the worst spot ever, man? Hey, I didn't pick the spot. The owners did. The workers. They scare you good? Yeah. Let's go. I was pretty nerved. So it's my turn, yes, I guess. Um, I am challenging myself. So I let you guys hide a walkie. Mm -hmm. What floor is it on? It's on the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So cardiac. Yeah. Oh and my isn't god. That, isn't that where she said the activity was kicking up recently? We're gonna grab our equipment. We're gonna go over to the old building while you do this and investigate a little bit for our channel. Then we're gonna flip flop and you guys are gonna go to the old building. We're gonna come to the new. And then from there towards the end of the night, we're gonna meet up again. So awesome. You guys will be seeing us again at the end of the video. Alrighty. Alright, see forward. you guys. Good luck. See ya. We'll be alright. Alright. Okay, I believe this is the third floor. See, like, I don't know where I am. I just need to check everywhere. There is no um, light whatsoever. But I just need to keep checking these rooms. Ow, God. Chair. I'm so disoriented. I don't know where I'm at. Not in here. Definitely do not see it. Here's another room. I actually don't remember if I checked in here. I might have. He has not given me a hint yet. Oh God! Dude, I just ran into a freaking wheelchair. Walkie walkie, where are you at? Dude, this idiot has not given me a single hint. You literally can't just like skip past a room because it could be in any room. Watch it baby. God! Oh, my knee! Jake is still not finding the challenge, so I'm gonna go ahead and speak through the walkie again and see if he gets any closer. Find me, I am a walkie-talkie. Oh. I heard it. Is it this way? Walkie, where are you? No way it's in the last room I check. Could be in this bathroom. No way they put it back here. Oh my god, they put the freaking walkie right there, dude. Yo, 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 yo! What's up, dude? How was the search? It was pretty good. Where am I going now? I want you to go into the longest hallway on the third floor and sit in the middle of the floor. Okay, okay. We're in the third floor hallway, which is the... It's like the cardiac ward, I think. I just heard something. Pretty sure I did. Look at that. It's crazy because it's, the hospital is really two buildings, guys. We're in the new one, that's where we did all the challenges, and Paranormal Quest did their kind of abandonment in the old building. So if you want to see anything that they captured on their abandonment, you can definitely check it out on their channel. Literally have to pee. Hey, congratulations. It's a celebration. Come downstairs, you finish your challenge. Let's go. We've done it! We're spirit stalkers! We've accomplished the impossible, ladies and gentlemen. My fear of ghosts is subsiding. 
All right, dude. We're starting in the new building, which this is the four-story building. This is that big tall one. Yeah. They're over in the old building, so we should not contaminate at all. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. I think we should go to the second floor. The second floor? Yeah. All right, second floor, dog. Okay, we're up here. We are here. Oh, these are like the surgery rooms, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, man. So I'll show you, I'm gonna show you where Jason's walkie was. Whoa, I did a Can you do that again? We heard you whistle. Dude, think about all the people who would have died in this room from surgery. Or just like... How was that? Could that have been what you were doing? That debunked, yeah. Were you moving it when we heard yeah. the whistle? All right, debunked. Um, do you want to go to this room at the end of the hallway? Yeah. It's like that recovery room. They said they got lots of activity in there. Yeah. Can anybody come into our room and give us some uh, communication? Said they get lots of activity here, man. In here? Yep. I'm gonna sit right in this corner because I can see down that hallway. Let's just see if anything happens. They hear voices in here. Is there anybody in the hallway? Do you need help? My name is Jake. This is my brother, Noah. All right, so we're getting out the Sony Saint EVP recorder, and this recorder will pick up any voices that we can't hear with our own ears. And Eric from Epic Paranormal gifted this to us. So let's give this a run, you ready? If anyone's in here, can you talk into this silver device in my hand? Can you tell me what happened to you in this hospital? Can you tell me your name? Cutting. What the f was that? Dude. Dude, something just slammed on that door. Brother! That was the door? Dude, something just pounded on that door. Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah. Dude, what the f Oh my god. Holy god, that was the best scare we've had in a long time. What the f What the f What the f was that? Hello? Did you just knock on the door? Dude, it was like right here. REM pod. Let's go back in here. Can you make that REM pod go off or knock on that wall again for us? We heard you. Thank you so much for doing that. Let me get on my phone. And what I'll do is I'll actually go to YouTube and play a code blue sound. Okay. Code blue sound. Code blue! I need help. Yeah, let's move. Let's keep walking. Let's move. Let's go up one. Oh wow. Well. So this is cardiac? Let's sit right here. Down here? Let's just really settle and let things come to us. Okay. We're gonna sit in silence for a couple minutes. Let's do like three minutes or something. Yeah. Just completely quiet. As much as possible. Ready? Silence? Yeah. Ready? Silence? Yeah. Ready? Silence? Yeah. Ready? Silence? Yeah. We're on the third floor in the hallway. This is the cardiac floor, and uh, we're gonna do a little EVP session with the digital recorder again up here. Can you tell me your name, please? Did you die up here? If you're a nurse, what's your name? Can you tell us what happened up here? Can you tell me your name, please? Did you die up here? Can you tell us what happened up here? Nothing, man. None. Well, we only have one more floor to hit, which is the fourth floor. As we're going to the fourth floor, guys, if you want to see what PQ is getting at this very moment in the old building, and when we switch what they're getting over here, watch their video on their channel, Paranormal Quest, and you can see their abandonment when they left all their stuff alone. Yep. You were hearing, you were actually getting evidence up here, though. Mm -hmm. So we have a cat ball sitting on that chair. 
And then we have the REM pod out in that hallway a little bit. Can you walk towards us and communicate? I don't know, man. What are you feeling? I feel like he doesn't want to speak right now. Maybe they're over talking with PQ, but we should debrief. That's, that's true. Should we walk you them real quick? And yeah, let's tell them we're done. We went to all four floors. Not much. Just wondering where you guys are at. We are up in the old uh, OR, major OR. We are actually ramping up, so we're about to head back down your way. We will walk that way. Cool. We are going to split up again for this session, and then we're going to come back together yep. on the next session and do an Estes Method Spirit Box session in the temp in the yep. ER with the temporary morgue. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be oh, fun. You guys are headed over to the old building, right? Yep. yep. We'll be in the old building. Explore the Shadow Man hallway. See what we can capture over there. We're going up to the ICU because we all know oh, Jason awesome. has history with ICUs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's Good do luck. It. Let's all right. Do it. We'll be over there. Good luck, fellas. See you guys. Good luck. Okay, so second floor gets you into the old building. This is the only way to connect. Now, now we are in the... Crossing time. Dude. Old building, second floor. These are the surgical rooms, man. We're at the far end of this really long hallway, man. Yeah. This is the surgical room. This is where major surgery would have been done. So let's sit in here for a minute. If anyone's in here, any spirits, you can touch that red light. Let us know that you're in here. Can you do this thing on the wall? Did you guys just slam a door or something? Negative. Dude. Holy sh Holy sh Holy sh I think we should walk down there. Dude, what the hell was that, dude? I don't know. Let's go down. Just walk really light and very slow. Like, really slow. We heard you down here. That's new building. Dude. We just heard you. Okay, that run pod is set. So we're going to come down here. Run pod is wrong. Dude. Hello. Thank you. We found you, didn't we? Thank you. Can you we found it. Can you touch that again if that was you? It's just the first run pod activity. Yeah. You make yourself known, please? I'm really feeling it right now. A lot different than the new building. Yeah. No one knows who you are. Could you tell us? If you're a doctor, can you touch that red light? If you're a nurse, can you touch that red light? If you're a patient, touch the red light, please. Patient, dude. Thank you. Okay, dude, we're, we're figuring it out. Okay. Thank you so much. You're a patient. Okay, so we're going to whip out a recorder right here, okay? You're going to have to get a little bit closer to us. But this recorder should be able to hear your voice, okay? You said you're a patient. Tell me your name, please. How did you die? Can you tell me? Are you okay with us coming and talking with you? Can you see us? Cutting. You hear that? Yes. Mm, I anything. You see us. Hey. Yeah. You see us. You're like, yeah. Can you see us? Yeah. Is it yeah? Yes or yeah. Whoa, run time. 
You watched it? Yeah. Green twice. It's like it admitted, like, yeah, it can see us. Dude, that was a voice. Can you see us? Can you just the out again? That red light? We did hear your voice. We're getting some answers now with finding out it was a patient and stuff and hearing the door slam. But until now, we've been saying it's almost like it just wants us to know it's here, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really want to speak. Let's go to the Shadow Man hallway down on the first floor of the old building and set up in there and see what's going on. That hallway's a lot longer than I thought. Dude, behind us is nuts. I don't have to get one of these flashlights, but shit. Yeah. Hello? Whoa. Shh. Come here. Go down there. Hello? Oh. Who did that? Is that the metal sound she was talking about? Yeah. Do that again, please. That was loud. It was down here. Dude, was that? It was. It was literally like. Yeah. I'm not thinking one of these flashlights. Yeah. I'm not thinking one of these flashlights. Yeah. I'm not thinking one of these flashlights. Yeah. Dude, what the hell? Can we go through here? Where does this put us out? Where? Where the hell are we? Have you seen this tonight? No. Wait, wait. Here's the nurse's station. Oh, okay. Where Joanna is. Behind so, you. oh, we were just in the Shadow Man hallway then. I didn't even realize Dude, that means Shadow that, Man. that means that thump came from Shadow Man. God. A lot of sounds. Yeah. Most sounds we've ever had a location. Loud, too. Nothing, man. We gotta head back up there. So let's grab this friend pod. We'll head back up and meet with PQ, and we're gonna do an experiment with them. We've been saving this for the end. Yeah. Yep. And we made it. We did the ER, the place where she said had a temporary morgue. We did see lots of like shadow figures and stuff in here too, coming through. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Right there. Hello. Oh, it's like it just went to blue. Hello. Hello? Dude, that's all the way! So, Ryan is under, on the spirit box right here, behind you, uh, doing an S's method, and we're out here with Jason. Already got some Ren Pond activity. I guess we just try to figure out who's talking, or who who's haunting this place. I haven't heard anything yet, but I feel like someone just stepped in front of me. In this room. Are you in there? Can you speak through him? If that's you who just walked in front of him? Or whoever he felt. Very faint whispering man's voice. <laughs> nice. What? We understand that it may be difficult for you to Couldn't speak make it out. very loudly for us. If you can, could you please speak louder? You can use our energy. Can you go talk through Ryan so we know that you're here? I thought I heard injured. What was your injury? Can you tell us what was injured? They can help. Here. Man, I felt like something's touching me in the face, like in the neck. Come in. Holy dude. dude right when you just went in. Stand well, I want, stand okay. In. Do you like that I'm in here? Do you want me to stay in here? Are you in pain? It sounded like a little kid's voice, but I couldn't make out what it said. Something to you at the end. Do you want me to help you? Are you glad that I'm here? Oh, same little kid's voice. Something about messy. It was messy, maybe. Are you in the same room as me? Oh, wow. I heard that. Man's voice, it screams, says, waiting. What are you waiting for? Your room. Oh, oh we're waiting on a room. We're sorry to hear that you're waiting on a room and you're here in the ER. Do you want me to go find a nurse for you so we can get an open room? The 40s or... In my 40s, something like that. Oh, there's a clue. Tell us how old exactly you are. I can go find you a nurse. A CNA. 25. Whoa. Are you 25? I'm right here. Uh, hello. What happened to you? Did you work here? Very clear. A woman's voice went, hello. Hello, are you a nurse? I thought I heard a man's voice just say Noah. Hello. 
That's Noah right there. Can you tell me your name? And then a woman's voice said, be a man. Dude, I just told you to be a man. Do you mind if I land your bed? Could you give us a hint as to who you are? I can still leave. What? We're here to talk. We're here to find out who you are. Can you help us? I keep feeling like a cold air on my face and like someone's touching me. No one's even near him. Guys, that's a wrap on the old historic Harriman Hospital. Square footage wise, this is the biggest building we've ever been to besides ISS. And it did not disappoint. All right, everyone, our night at the old historic Harriman Hospital has finally concluded. I can say this has been one of the most tense nights we have had in a very, very long time. Whew, so that ends the night here at the old historic Harriman Hospital. And I have to say, this was a really cool building because of the history, because of the things these walls have seen. You just walk down, you feel the energy, you feel the presence of the people who were born here, the people who came here for illnesses and injuries, and the people that even passed away here. A lot of ground to cover. We had our work cut out for us. We knew that going into it. I feel confident saying that both Jake and Noah and Ryan and I done a good job with covering the grounds. We did those challenges and dude, I'm so surprised how I was able to just conquer my fear. I feel like I'm getting a lot less scared of these locations. And now I wasn't expecting much, but Jake's challenge was one hell of an experience and I was not expecting that. Usually his challenges are pretty mellow, but he actually stepped it up this time and actually challenged me to where I was actually scared during the night. And we've been investigating with Paranormal Quest for years. We've done some really creepy and haunted buildings but it was an honor to be here with noah and jake and to get to share this building with the spirit stalkers so shout out to you guys this was a lot of fun any evidence that ryan and i captured tonight during our investigation with spirit stalkers will be on our episode on the paranormal quest channel for the harriman hospital from audible bangs metal clanking to even taps on windows we had such a crazy night this place did not disappoint that old building was intense but what a great investigation with the guys from Paranormal Quest, Jason and Ryan. Thank you for inviting us and getting us here. Thank you to Paranormal Quest for inviting us here tonight at the Harriman Hospital. It really is a true haunted and historic bucket list location. And dude, congratulations to them for completing a Spirit Soccer's challenge. Now it's time to go on to the next location and challenge someone else. We are gonna be collabing once again, and you guys are not ready for this one. But before I announce where we're going next, we actually have a present to open. Okay, so something a little bit different. We don't normally do this in our outro, but for our next documentary, we got sent to this box and it was sent to us by Blood Moon Paranormal and they are our next collab. Want to open it and see in the review? Oh, what is that? We're going to Ashmore Estates with Blood Moon Paranormal.